Tim. This is a new account. And today I wanna see how far I can get on it in 24 hours. So right now it's out 10 minutes and the timer starts in three, two, one, go. Right now, my main concern is money, and uh, we're gonna solve that problem at the Stronghold of Security, right uh, west of Verox. If I remember correctly, there's some cooked meat right here that spawns. Yeah, let's take this. Uh, we're gonna have to run past some some bad guys. Time to venture into the Stronghold. And I already activated my Authenticator on this account, so I won't have to do that. Here is 2K, onto the next floor. There's 5K. All right, now this is the dangerous room. Uh, these spiders, where are they? There they are. Yeah, scary. Okay, and there is uh, 10k. Right now, I'm going to make my way over to Varrock. I think I'm going to go straight to the GE. So here is the plan. First, I'm going to bank everything. Do that. And then I'm going to buy some super compost. And I guess I'll just test this with, with 10. And I'm also going to buy some ultra compost as well. Wait, wait, no, sorry. Wrong one. That's what I'm going to be making. Volcanic ash. And I'll pay a premium because I'm pretty sure I can make like a lot of money from this. We'll see how it goes. And it's sold. All right, so I already made 3K. Let's 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 just repeat this again. Uh, although this time I'm gonna double up. Oh wow, <laughs> this is literally all my money. Here we go. Uh oh, maybe our uh, our method's been found out. Or people stopped buying it. Well, I guess that's the problem with one of the type of these. In the meantime, uh, maybe I'll, I'm gonna look into something else <laughs> while I wait. But I mean, I have been making money. If I sell this, it'll be 16K. Let's just. Let's just chuck this in. 22K. I I'm gonna do this till I get about like 50K probably. I'll show you how much I end up with and I'll check my time because this, you have to log out to, uh, to update your time here. But yeah, let's just say this method is way better than I expected. And there's literally no requirements for this except to have money. All right, we're 37 minutes in and I have 100K. So I'll do one more uh, venture on this. And then after that, I'll uh, move on to the next thing. So I'm actually going to spend an entire hour here. I'm just so addicted to this. I I'm making so much money. <laughs> I got a little carried away here, but 300K. <laughs> oh my Lord. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. Uh, we're at 55 minutes. I think I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to risk uh, a lot of money here. Okay. I got, a, I got a plan. I'm going to risk a lot of money. What would a RuneScape video be without me taking unnecessary risks? Buy one of these. Oh, those are really cheap. And then I'm going to buy... Yeah, buy well. I'm going to stake my entire bank on these mole skins. This is going to be purely RNG. Oh my god, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of nests. And I just realized I can't crush the nest, so I will have to go do Druidic Ritual really quick. While I'm here, uh, I'm pretty sure that these sell for a little bit. Let's check. But four hunt... <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and buy all these. Should I accidentally bought a bunch of vials of water? Well, uh, hopefully we get our money back. I'm using the menu entry swapper on RuneLight. By the way, uh, if you're not using RuneLight, make sure you go to RuneLight.net. Exactly how I spelled, because there are people that make fake clients that'll steal your login information. RuneLight.net, as it appears on the screen. And if you want to be extra careful and you have a Discord, then join the RuneLight Discord and then go through the link there that is like the safest way otherwise you might get a false client because this is runescape and people just want to hack you and scam you and ruin your account so all right druidic ritual is completed and there's three herb lore not sure if i actually needed to do that but uh, it's done for now let's roll these birds nests here we go a spirit seed i'm pretty sure i could turn that in for a little bit it's untradeable First inventory, let's do a price check. All right, so we lost money. Let's go. Second inventory. Ooh, a Renar seed. That's pretty good. All right, that one was a lot better. 48K. And last inventory. Anything good here? Uh, another spirit seed and a bunch of garbage. Two? What are the chances of that? One in 171. Okay, that's not that bad. Pretty sure I could turn these in somewhere. Okay, it says here that you can turn these into Master Jane in the farming guild. But I don't think I can go into the farming guild. Damn, I really should have looked that up. I need 45 farming. We would get like 200k GP from this, but instead I, I yeeted all my money. <laughs> At least we'll get some of this back from these uh, birds nests here. 235k. All right, so we only lost about 2k, but we profited 200k if we are able to sell those other things. I don't know. Should I, should I take the gamble again? Listen, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem, okay? Wait, did I buy them out? I bought them out. 
Oh, these ones are more expensive and they don't sell. Okay, never mind. We're not going to do this. It's the gods telling me that gambling is bad. Don't gamble at home, kids. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start questing. So I'm going to buy some stamina potions, maybe some energy potions because these are a lot cheaper. <laughs> There's half my money, but I think it'll be worth it for this specific challenge. Uh, maybe some food, maybe some lobsters. Uh, that looks good. And then I'm going to need a lot of teleports. So let's buy a couple of these. Spend the rest of this on quest items. All right, Cook's Assistant is complete. May as well start the start the next one. Recipe for Disaster. Start X mark, marks this spot. And then I'm pretty sure I can buy a spade in this general store here. And let's talk to Fred the Farmer. I'm looking for a quest. All right, Sheep Shearer completed. If you didn't know, this little blue star is a quest symbol. All right, now that that's started, let's go back into the castle. And before I dig, I'm going to actually go upstairs. Let's talk to the Duke and let's start... Uh, rune mysteries. We're gonna be able to do all these quests pretty pretty soon, uh, all at once because we'll be in the location. Let's let's go do this, and then I'm gonna buy a glory and a necklace of passage, and I'm gonna withdraw my beads. Uh, yeah, basically these are all just really useful teleport items that uh will help me get all this done faster. While I'm here, I'm gonna start Vampire Slayer. And then I'm also gonna go upstairs, grab the garlic from the cupboard up here. Yoink. The great thing about stamina potions, uh, I know they're expensive, but one sip lets me run unlimited pretty much for the next like two minutes x marks the spot is completed uh, and i'm gonna use this antique lamp in agility run energy is a problem and then now let's use our necklace of passage go to wizard's tower and the reason we have the beads is for uh, a quest called imp catcher literally all you need is the beads in your inventory you talk to this guy and that is imp catcher completed <laughs> then let's go talk to cedridor he is the next part of rune mysteries all right now uh well we need to head back to verak to, to finish this quest so now i'm gonna actually go do the restless ghost Oh yeah, if you forget anything by any chance, always good to have these uh, Ring of Duelings on and just go to Castle Wars. And the nice thing is you can do like all of these quests in tandem while you're doing like other quests. And so when you, as long as you uh, time it out right, you know, you could pretty much do every like five different quests at the same time. Handy thing to know when you're starting out, saves you a lot of time running back and forth. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting attacked. Watch out. Watch out, man. Dr. Harlow, here's your beer. Let's uh, do this quest for Vampire Slayer. I don't know if I can actually finish this one. He's level 34. Yeah, but uh, at least he's... All I have to do is go back and kill him. On my way to Father Eric in the... Uh the Varrock Church up here. I'm going to go ahead and buy a house for 1,000 coins. See this quest symbol? Yeah, it's right here. Uh, go down these stairs right here. Talk to Orlando Smith and then you complete all of these. And if you have Rune Light, it should just tell you what the answers are. And then after this, you'll see you'll see why I'm doing this in uh, in a quick second here. Give me all the juice here. 1,000 Slayer and Hunter XP for absolute free. Go ahead and leave here. There's nothing else we can do here and get back to the other quest. But before that, I'm going to attack this dummy and get some free attack xp we now have eight attack it turns out that is uh, actually 10k xp an hour just pretty damn good oh i'm gonna loot that whoa 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 this guy's dropping stuff he's a gimp i'm gonna take his pickaxe <laughs> sucker use this cooked meat on the range all right romeo and juliet's completed and he, he loves me rune mystery's completed let's go steal this skull here run away from this guy yeah you don't even have to fight him all right and there's level nine prayer now i can use this house teleport it's gonna bring me down to Remington. I know my house is pretty bare. And let's go do Witch's Potion real quick. I already have the stuff, the onion, the burnt meat. All right, there's some more magic XP. Level 10 magic already. If you didn't know this, you could rub the Ring of Dueling as well and go to Ferox Enclave and then go drink from this pool. Don't step outside there because that's PVP and it'll restore your run energy. It's kind of useful if you don't feel like just burning all your money on stamina potions. We are just shy of two hours with uh 16 quest points and uh making good progress let's keep this going kind of want some more money because i i need some money to train prayer so uh what i'm gonna actually do is use all this 100k and buy some green well i think uh let me check the prices 2.3k 200 gp each see for this you need you kind of need a lot of money all right the way you do this is uh teleport to alcarid with your glory and then you trade this man right here tan all the hides and rinse and repeat and then uh, I'll be teleporting back with this Ring of Wealth here. You'll definitely want to check the prices to see what works best for you. Also, if your Ring of Wealth runs out, you could just sell that one and then buy another one. Just like that. Let's see, how much did I just make? Th that didn't seem like a lot. 
I can make a lot more. If I just buy the super combos, let's just double check to see if we've hit the buy limit here. Nope. Uh, it's selling for 529 each. It does kind of ruin our margins slightly, but it should be pretty good money anyways. Okay, someone must have found out my strategy because now it's selling for a lot. Ugh. 5,500? Okay, yeah. Now that it's nighttime, I think people are uh, going to be merching a lot more, so the margins won't be as good as during the day. Margins on that aren't working that well. I'm going to try uh, something different here. I'm going to... Well, shit, I don't have the herb lore level. <laughs> I forgot I'm level 3. <laughs> oh, the mistakes. The mistakes, man. Okay. Some guams. Raise my herb lore real quick. All right, now let's see if we can actually make money doing this. Uh, if not, then I'm gonna move on and probably wait till the next day or something. Terramin potions. Let's sell these for 200. Let's try and squeeze as much as we can get. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Uh, it is nighttime, so it's actually really low. Oh, okay, 20k. And we bought that for nine. No, 16k. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it for me. What I'm doing now is I'm enchanting these sapphire rings. I think it's about a 200 GP margin. Uh, with those cosmic runes, I probably lost a little bit more. The great thing about this money making method is I'm actually getting uh, experience and progressing my account. And the magic XP, honestly, at this level, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so yeah, I'm, that was worth it. I think that was worth it. Let's just keep doing that while I wait for these uh, earth staffs to buy. I'll tell you what I'm doing with those in a little bit. And there is 20 magic and 100 total level. Just about to finish up these rings here and then we'll move on to the next thing. I'm going to wait until I'm not at the dead times and try this tomorrow. I have been permanently banned on this account that I just made for three hours. <laughs> How, dude? How did this happen? What?